Hi, my name is Kyle Chang. I've been a dialysis patient since 2013. Thanks for joining me at Kidney Journeys. Today I want to talk about proteins, why proteins are important. So in your dietary labs that you get, if you're already on dialysis, you would look at a protein level called albumin on the dietary labs. And then ideally albumin, you want to target 4.0 or above. And here are some of the reasons for that. So albumin is one of the main proteins that is tracked in the bloodstream and also your body. Indications of low albumin, if you're pre-dialysis, could indicate protein leakage. So if you are getting indications of protein or bubbly urine when you urinate, that could be a spillage of protein. So they run a blood test and then look at albumin as one of the factors, key factors. Now, albumin is produced in the liver, so it helps carry oxygen as well as medication and different things throughout your body when you need those. And um, if those values are low, it does not do that job effectively. So also as a dialysis patient, a lot of times the dialysis treatments will draw out proteins and albumin is one of the key factors where um, you can see on the blood lab indicators to see if it's low or high or within target range. So if your dialysis treatments are drawing out proteins, especially with uh, peritoneal dialysis, because you're doing treatments more frequently, it can draw out a lot more proteins and then you need to supplement those proteins. What are some different proteins that are good for you in terms of replenishing the protein in your body if it's low? A lot of it could be dietary. So there are meats that you could eat, such as meat, poultry, fish, chicken, eggs, if you enjoy eggs for breakfast or anytime during the day. Those are good proteins. And what is recommended is to get good quality proteins if you're eating meat. And those typically have the highest protein values to compensate what you're missing in your body so that your body will function properly and avoid infections and, and carry out the different medications. Also, another key thing with albumin and proteins is that it draws the extra fluids instead of them storing on your tissue. It draws those out so when you're having dialysis treatments, it actually removes that excess fluids. And if you get swelling and different things and your proteins are low, that might be a reason why in terms of the fluids, excess fluids actually attaching to the tissues instead of flowing throughout your body. So it's important to keep up your proteins. And besides the meats, you want to get good quality meats, organic, grass-fed if possible, and Try to avoid frozen meats if you can. Frozen meats often have a phosphate white water that's injected to help preserve the quality of that meat as well as the moisture. And that adds to the phosphorus in your blood levels and you want to avoid those. So try to keep to the natural fresh uh, products as well. Besides meats, there are also plant-based proteins that could be good for you. So. For example, legumes, beans, quinoa, for example, those are good quality plant-based proteins that are available. Traditionally, they are a little bit lower in protein quality than the meats itself. However, for me, it works better because when I eat the meat proteins, my phosphorus tends to be higher up. Um, the natural meats have a little bit higher protein level or now, uh, higher phosphorus levels and that drives my phosphorus levels up. Now the plant-based proteins could be high in potassium and could be high in phosphorus. So if you're combining the plant-based proteins with, with the meat proteins, then your phosphorus levels can potentially be too high up. And then again, the plant-based products usually higher potassium. So if you have higher potassium levels, for me, especially on hemodialysis, where I'm not getting treatments as frequently, my potassium tends to be more limiting.
I have to watch my potassium levels. But on PD, because I'm getting more frequent dialysis, it works better for me to not have a higher potassium level for that treatment modality. Everybody's different, so um, you have to sort of try it out and work with your renal dietitian on what works and what doesn't work in terms of your labs. Eat based on your labs. Just kind of keeping up my what proteins are, why it's important to have high protein levels, and then also um, to keep good quality foods on you so that you are doing well on dialysis and keeping yourself healthy. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. And if you have any other questions or comments in terms of what's helped you for proteins and dietary wise, do comment below. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe on this channel and let me know how things go. Thanks for watching.